Today, I'm gonna to give you an update on my long-term experience with Aquafault. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda. I'm out here on my driveway, which is asphalt, and might not look like asphalt because I use a colored sealer on it. And I wanted to give you a long-term update on my experience with Aquafault to patch some of my asphalt. So a year ago, I actually got some Aquafault because I had a corner here where the asphalt was in terrible shape. It wasn't just alligator skin. I mean, it was pretty much just dirt with a sprinkling of asphalt in it. I mean, it was just so bad. It was so crumbly. It looked awful. You could feel it every time you rolled over it. Every time you drove over it, it just got a little worse, pushed what was left of the asphalt into the dirt below. And so it's funny because I did a video with Aquafault to patch that area and people were complaining I didn't do it right. And that is absolutely true. And I actually say in my video, I'm not using it in the way that they expressly suggested to use it. I wanted to see if it would work despite the fact that it wasn't ideal conditions and if it would work as a repair on something that was less than ideal. And so that was the whole point of it is to use it in a way that it wasn't intended. Here is why I'm making this video. And that's because I actually don't know if it's going to work on this in particular, but I really just wanted to focus on this as more of a test to see if this will work on low spots. So I didn't have like a perfect pothole that was three inches deep with a nice clean edge on it, right? It was really the corner where I didn't have a really defined border on the edge and it was just to sunken in dirt with some asphalt patches probably wasn't really ideal for much of anything but the issue here is that this corner from here the whole corner right here was in really bad shape because when you're driving into my driveway you're cutting this corner all the time and it's just beating it up and with all my cars and heavy vehicles man it was just in terrible terrible shape so what i did actually was i put aquafault dust down on top i didn't prep it other than using the water like they recommended and spraying with the hose and a little bit from the watering can um, i just kind of layered it on there and what was interesting is where i did put it i was actually so impressed with the way it looked i got two more buckets so this whole area here like from about here to here up to the corner is three buckets of the asphalt in the medium green, I think. So I went ahead and layered it on there and I tamped it down. Again, I wish I had a compactor. I wish I could have done it really, really well, but I tamped it down. And then I went ahead and I seal coated everything last summer with this colored seal coat, which I really like actually. And it's actually a little beat up because of where I snow blowed it. And I actually had a plowing company come twice because we got really heavy snow and ice. And so they came and it just kind of scraped up the seal coat you can see that so i want to absolutely mention that this has not been a babied or pampered driveway in any way and actually in some of this area you can see where he pulled up some of the asphalt underneath so this driveway has seen some abuse so really hot temperatures last summer and then really cold temperatures in fact we had three days where it averaged 15 degrees below true temps in this area so the asphalt really kind of froze and shrunk and then expanded. And I actually have some stress cracks where it's done that. And right now it's a pretty cool day. So you can see where the asphalt is kind of contracted and pulled away. So I definitely have some stress cracks there. And you can see this is an area right here where the plow just scraped up the top of my seal coating. But basically what I want to show you here is that even though I didn't use the Aquafault in the ideal way, I am super impressed with it. So I put the Aquafault down here and then I seal coated over it. Now, what I want to say here is I actually had to seal coat it a few times. So I probably have like three coats of the seal coat, which is actually what they recommended when you're changing color from black seal coat to a colored seal coat and it really soaked in there. And so in some of the areas here, because I think there is space in between the new asphalt granules it kind of seeps into there and so one of the things that I think the seal coating actually did was even kind of settle it in and glue it in together a little bit and you can see here again not ideal but the seal coat just kind of bled out the edge but in a way that it dried up and now I do have some cracking here but that's actually the seal coat and it's not the aquafault and that's really because I drove over this so many times like I said every time I pull in or out of the driveway it gets a drive on so that's at least two three four five six times a day and so what I've noticed here is that I'm getting a little cracking but that's the seal coat and when I do my seal coating again I think it's going to fill that in but I'll just tell you man that looks great 
I was really kind of curious what it would look like a year later after really hot temps, cold temps, driving abuse, snow blowing, plowing. And as I back up here, I think that looks great. And I know that there are some cracks in it, but again, that's a seal coat and I'm getting that pretty much everywhere else too. So I think my summer seal coating activities here will make everything look a lot fresher. So I am really, really impressed with how well Aquafault worked, even in an application that it was not designed for at all. So if I have additional repairs, I will definitely use Aquafault. It is so easy to use. You just pour it out. It's very easy to push around and mold into place. After even a few days in the sun, it was pretty dry. Although I let mine cure for pretty much an entire month in the summer heat before I went ahead and seal coated it. And man, like I said, that corner right there, I am super happy with. So if you want to pick up Aquafault, I'm going to put a link to it in the description below. If you want to pick up the colored seal coat, I really love that too. I'll put a link in the description too. Peter Von Panda, out. Thank <laughs> you.